So today we are going to design our digital thermometer in Blender. We have the reference image. So first of all, I am going to delete everything in the Blender by pressing X and delete everything. Now go to top view by pressing the seven. So just add the reference image by selecting them and dragging it. Or you can also shift A and go here images and reference. And you may already know that what you have to do when you added a reference image. So I am just going to I move it downward and then for the opacity for these uh, properties of this uh, image here i am going to make it 0.7 and we want this image to not selectable so just uh, go to filter and, and make check this answer and this one the selectables option and here i am going to turn in so no this image is not uh, selectable so press 7 to go to the top view and here you can see the region of this is not in the point of 3d cursor i'm just making it uh, selectable select this one and press alt and g so we can remove any uh, movement of this uh, origin and make it unselectable now the simple thing we we just have to add a plane and uh, some simple tools we are going to use to model this one and shift a and add a plane here and now press tab to go to the edit mode edit mode and here we want to make this uh, plane small i'm going to press a and here toggle x-ray i am going to activate it uh, so first of all we are uh, just going to track the uh, geometry the basic geometry of this uh, thermometer and we have to make everything uh, by keeping the topology in mind so just first of all we are going to keep everything straight and then we are going to add the curves and everything so just i am going to move here and this one so you can move it by g and then locking it position to x g and x or you can use this simple tool so simple tool is sometimes very helpful and just i'm going to move it and place it here uh, so we have uh, you know, we have these two uh, four uh, edges and four vertices here and everything is straight now so now we are going to add geometry for this uh, this screen part and here we have this hole and a button so we are going to add some geometry to make these holes so i am going to press ctrl r and add three loops four here and now just going to move these loops so this one i am going to move it here and uh, in in the middle like that and this one i'm going to move here at this point like that uh, we are going to move it here on this side okay and, and this one we are going to move it at this position this one these vertices at this point a uh, little bit more back side and this one we don't need it so just uh, delete it just dissolve this edge select one and press s to dissolve this edge okay and press one on so you are in the vertex selection mode and here we are going to control r and add three loops here in the in the middle so i'm going to select all of these and then shift and select all of these now we have to move them uh symmetry keeping the symmetry in, in the y direction so s to scale and move then y so these vertices will not be scaled but it will move like that so we just have to keep it at this position and now you can see uh, we have some uh, gap between uh, all of these where we are going to use the uh, make the this rectangle and this circle so press 3 so you are in the face selection mode i am going to select these three faces and press i to insert them and just this position then again i to place it at this position now this is our rectangular shape but we needed a circular shape here now these three faces are selected i am going to press uh, right click and here if you have the loop tool active in the uh, add-ons then you have this option by right clicking and i'm going to make a circle here and we just rotate this circle like that and make it smaller and just this position in the middle is good okay then press three and and we have to select these two faces and then i to insert them and just at this position 
and again I don't check them and like that so now press one you are in the vertex selection mode and you can see we uh, added a geometry here and uh, a geometry here and everything is uh, everything else is straight we just make these uh, shapes here for these cuts now I'm just going to rotate it and toggle x-ray is off we are going to select this one by pressing A to select everything and now uh, we can extrude this uh, in the uh, direction but press 7 we are going to add add this geometry here uh, so for this geometry I am going to only select these loops and press E to extrude them and place it here make sure you are locked in the x x direction and place it here so we just drag this position now for these loops select this one and this one and move it move it in the back side like that and then select these two and move it in the back side like that so if we make this shape uh, uh, clear when we added these loops uh, like that it, it it is not straight so that's why we are doing this part uh, in the end uh, achieving this shape so rest the rest of the uh, topology will look good okay now uh, let's check this uh, shape by adding a subdivision modifier and make it two uh, of the toggle x-ray and here you can see and uh, this shape is good and everything else is also good okay now i am going to press uh, a to select everything and e to extrude it and extrude it in the z direction make sure the z is locked and like that okay we are not uh, modeling a real object uh, like keeping the dimension in mind so just make sure uh, the for this extrusion uh, you you just add some thickness like that okay now for these points uh, we can add a control r add a loop here to add more geometry and so we can uh, achieve this shape like that press 7 to go to the top view and double x-ray so we can select the geometry in the back side and i'm just going to move it like that and now see the shape like that is enough and check it with the shade smooth if this geometry look good it look good to me okay so for the uh, next uh, we have to extrude these loops to achieve uh, this shape okay so i'm going to press 7 to go to the top view and for this shape i'm going to select all of these make sure the double x-ray is selected so you can select the bottom vertices also press 7 and i'm just going to extrude it a little bit e to extrude and uh, extrude it in the uh, extraction so the position must be locked like that and place it at this position and then again e to extrude and place it at this position and we are going to scale it in the y direction s to scale in the y direction like that make it yeah again control r to add it here and s to scale and change its shape like that okay so this is the shape which we are uh, achieving now and uh, let's try something i'm going to control r and add two loops here like that at this position and for these two loops now i am going to just uh, delete all of these uh, vertices so we are going to delete these faces these front faces because it has a lot of geometry which we don't needed it delete these faces like that and here press alt and and go to the vertex selection mode alt and select these vertices and these vertices these two vertices and now let's just experiment something i'm going to alt and s to shrink this one like that so let me hide this plane so we just uh, shrink these 
edges by using the alt and s okay and here uh, we have these loops these loops here and if we press f not good okay so we basically have to uh, fill this one so i'm going to select this one this edge and this edge and press f to fill it and now now we are going to add two loops here so this will okay so basically we also have to for the topology we also have the uh, have to remove, uh, remove these two uh, vertices here so how we can do that or z we are going to press 7 in the top view in the vertex selection mode and i'm going to press ctrl r add a loop here and for this one i'm going to one here so simply i am going to re uh, remove these these edges this one this one and also this one and this one we don't need them x to delete and in the you have to go here and dissolve these edges so now these edges are removed okay so now i am going to select it go to the edge selection mode select these two so you have to do a little bit planning when you are uh, modeling the objects with the reference image have to fill them and control r and fill them Select like this one, this one, F to fill it. Select like this one, this one, F to fill it. Now control R. So basically, we have to make sure we have parts. One, two, three, four. We will have five faces. So. This face control Z this and F to fill them. So these are four faces one, two, three, four. Okay, that's good now press 1 so you are in the vertex selection mode select all of these vertices press 7 to go to the top view and show this image and make sure you are in the global x-ray view so for these vertices as you can see these are not straight first we have to make them straight s and scale it in the x direction then press 0 or we can use the loop tool and flat you now select all of these and press e to extrude and go to this position s and y scale it in y direction little bit then e to extrude and at this position s to scale in the y direction then again e to extrude straight extrusion like that then again e to extrude like that then e to extrude and then s to scale it inward then e to extrude at this position and s to extrude like that okay so for this one i'm going to scale it like that all of these loops as to scale it all of these loops like that all of these loops and make it smaller like that 
okay no check the shape yeah the shape is looking good and for all of these vertices i am going to select them make sure in the toggle x-ray at this point i am going to select all of these make sure and here if you go to this mesh and transfer and to sphere you can these two vertices we don't need it to select them so go to mesh transfer and here you can see to sphere and it will make a spherical shape like that we just check the shape so this one select all of these and as to scale S and Y like that, S and Y like that, all of these S and Y check the shape. So now we, we just have to like check these shapes S and Y like that. This one again, select them S and Y like that. It's looking good now. You can see that. Okay, now we just have to make the cuts. This only part is left again, shade flat. And here I'm going to press 3 and select all of these faces and just simply extrude it in downward direction like that and check it with the uh, subdivision surface and again select these uh, faces these two faces and e to extrude in the downward direction like that so now just add the loops here so control r add a loop in the outside of this hole uh, like that and again control r add a loop here like that and control r Add a loop here in the our direction and same for it control sorry control R and add a loop like that and again control R and add a loop like that so now we have these uh, surfaces for the and here we can add another loop the outer loop to get a good result and here we have this hole so for the button, I am going to select uh, all of the outer loops like that. Shift A. Sorry, select this one. Shift S and add cursor to select it. Then tab, go to the object mode. And here we are going to add a cylinder at this position. And for this one, we are going to add eight vertices. Yes, did not change it. Shift A and add a cylinder here and for the needed it like that and then go to edit mode as to scale it and make it the right size like that and add a loop here two loops and then scale them in the z direction s and z to move them in the upside this one toggle x-ray select all of these and make it like that and check it with the subdivision surface no select the top face this one press i to insert them like that and we just have to scale them to make it a little bit bigger and move it in the upward direction like that and shade smooth so here we have this button and the same thing we do that for this screen or we can select this outer loop 
press 2 to go to the edge selection mode this control loop shift d to select them f to fill them and then e to extrude it in in this direction select this top face press like that control r add a loop here control r not this one L to select this whole button and just move it and our button this screen so we are also added a screen here 